On this episode of The Mompreneur Show, I'm talking to Lauren Grootman. She's an amazing mom, a wife, and a frugal living expert. I am so excited to talk to her because she's going to share so much insights on how she lived her life and used the story to create a six figure business. My name is Vicky Lashenko. I'm your host, and this is a show that features amazing stories of the most remarkable mom entrepreneurs. I am so, so happy that you're here. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It's such a pleasure to have you on and I'm so, so excited because I've uh, been watching you um, on online and how you're all over the media and how how many cha- how many lives you've changed, how you've changed yours and how you're impacting so many moms and families out there. So please share with us, how did you get started? And um, before you share that, uh, where are you now? What do you do? And then how you got started? Yeah, so right now I am a frugal living expert and um, I teach people how to get out of debt, how to budget, and how to live a life with financial purpose. Um, And from my background, I was actually uh, about 10 years ago, I was in $40,000 with the debt. I was running a $1,000 deficit on, you know, my monthly bills and I really was spending too much money and not paying attention to the things going on around me. And and I had hidden a lot of the debt from my husband, and so I had to come clean to him and uh, share with him all this debt that we had gotten into. And then there was a long journey of us going through uh, to get out of debt. And um, you know, through that time and that process, I met a lot of people that were going through the same thing that I was going through. And so um, I started kind of just talking to people and uh, telling them all the experiences that we were going through and wanted to make sure that my story could help others. So two years after the moment when I told my husband that um, we were in so much debt, I had to, we were debt free. So two years from $40,000 to being debt free, which was awesome. And right after that point, we moved, we had a sudden move and I had learned how to coupon and meal plan and a lot of people were asking me, you know, how did you do that? How did you get out of debt in two years? And how did you meal plan and how did you coupon and how, tell me your secrets. And so um, I started a website. And it was a, a little blog back then. I started it at IamThatLady.com, which is um, my website name. And just in the past couple weeks, we have uh, rebranded it to LaurenGroupman.com. But um, so I started that that time because I was teaching coupon seminars and meal planning seminars, and I just really wanted to share my story with other people. So that's my background. Um, I started it, the website, the blog, with the small hope that I could pay for my son's preschool tuition because we were sending him to a private school. So I needed $300 a month. And I wow. thought, surely I can do this. I can make $300 a month at this blog. I had no idea what I was doing, but I just figured, I why not? Wow, that is incredible. And Lauren, you know, so many of us moms are are watching you and are watching this and, and we're absolutely in awe of how you were able to just go from from debt from what what was it 40,000 debt uh, 40,000 yeah 40,000 dollars worth of debt and then paying that off and then creating such an incredible business from that so um how many years just to put this in perspective how many years did it take to go from from when you just started paying off your debt to where are you now today uh eight years eight years so this doesn't happen overnight (laughs) this doesn't happen overnight and it you know it's been six years since I started the website and uh, it's been a long journey and you know I started off really slow um, but uh, it it is our sole income now for my my family my husband quit his job as an actuary two and a half years ago to come home and work full-time with me and we have four kids together so we, it's a family business, and actually, as I speak, I'm sitting in our beautiful office suite that we have, and my brother-in-law works full-time for us, and we have another, you know, distant family member that works for us um, full-time, and, and it's like a family business now. My son's my office cleaner. Um, you know, we just made it a family business. <laughs> that is so cute. I love that you said that your son is your office cleaner, because I just uh, saw the photo that you posted that you paid him, what was it, $10 for cleaning um, your office for an hour. And yep. 
I think that's incredible. And you're really not only teaching so many families out there about money, you're also teaching your son. Such a beautiful <laughs> example. Such a beautiful example. Now, Lauren, let's go back a little bit. Um, when you just started your blog, what? how did you feel? Like, what was the push that made you start your blog? What was the, how did, what pushed you to do that? What inspired yeah. you to do that? So we had just gotten out of debt and mm. we still, I think actually we had, we are all the way out of credit card debt. I think we still had one, a little bit of student loans left and mm -hmm. we really were living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. We were living in a teeny towny townhouse. We sold our like huge custom dream house to get out of debt and um, moved into this like itty bitty townhouse. And I knew that I wanted to buy a house again soon, but it just wasn't in the cards with yeah, our yeah. budget and all of that. Um, yeah. and, and then the big thing was, is I really had a passion to send my kids to a private Christian school and we just did not have the money for that. And I was teaching these seminars and people were asking me to start a blog and I thought, you know, I'm a smart person. Like I'm, I'm one of those people, it's like, okay, give me, you know, some, some sticks and some newspaper and tell me to make a fire and I'll figure it out. Like, it, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, that's kind of the way I am. And so I thought, you know, there's gotta be other ways. Like I have this skill, I have my story, I have this knowledge of teaching people, you know, how to coupon and meal plan and get out of debt and budget in a very realistic way, not a scary way. I wonder if I could just make a little bit of extra money to do the things that I've always wanted to do if I start this blog, really having no idea what it would turn into. Wow. Okay. So you started this blog. What did you start talking about? What did you, I'm sorry, I think you just mentioned, but um, what were the, let's say the blog posts like? Uh, what did you start writing about? Because so many of us, when we start our, our blog, we're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to write about. Um, mm -hmm. I would love for you to share. Yeah, so I started off just like daily life, you know. Um, I did a lot of, you know, pictures of my kids. And at, at that, when I started my blog, I had two children, and mm -hmm. now I have four. So that was a little bit, uh, it was a lot about children and child mm -hmm, raising. Mm -hmm. And then I would post shopping trip pictures of my couponing. And, uh, you know, all those meal planning tips and my recipes and all that. So how did your blog take off? I mean, it took six years, but uh, when right. did you see like that, that point where you're like, okay, people are actually coming on and sharing and, and there's, a, there's a lot of people visiting my website. When did you hit that point? Um, probably two years in is when things really started taking off for me. Oh, I love that you yeah. share that. Okay, so two years two years that's a lot of time that's a long time to put into something that's you know you don't see like a direct result from direct R R O I from and i think you so much uh lauren for being so real about that because so many of us want to start a blog and then we want to make right money the first day but it doesn't work like that so uh could you share with us like what were the first steps for you to generating an income from your blog and how soon did you start doing that yeah so i started learning about affiliate income kind of right off the bat mm -hmm. so i talked a lot about couponing in the early days and um so coupon you know you can put coupon prints on there and people get you get paid like 50 cents for somebody printing coupons mm -hmm. so I worked on the couponing, uh, affiliate income, and ad revenue. It was another another aspect, and also I taught seminars. So I used my platform to go out in the community and get known in my local community. So I have a very strong local following, and I always have, and I think they're my best fans and my best sharers. Um, and so uh, that was, you know, really fun for me to get out and meet people and get them to know me. And I'm not just somebody behind a computer. I'm a real life person. Very interesting. So how did you get into um, doing the workshops and speaking? Yeah, I just uh, said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to call up all the local newspaper companies and I'm going to offer to sell their paper at a coupon seminar. And so that's how I got in and I got hired by like all these newspaper companies to do seminars for them. Oh my gosh, that is so out of the box. Can you share a little bit about that? So this show is so unscripted, so real. Like, Lauren, I know that I sent you very, like, few questions, like, general questions. But, I mean, I love this because we can dig into any any story that we'd like. And I, I think this is so interesting. And the reason I'm asking is because I'm genuinely curious. 
And I, I hope that you uh, who are watching are curious too. So Lauren, I'm like, it's mind blowing. You just had this idea to approach. Can you share the process with us, please? Yeah, I just called them up and I said, hey, you know, I have this website and I, I shared about it. And I didn't have a ton of readers at the time, but they didn't know that. And I said, exactly. you know, I've got a lot of local followers and I really think that I could bring a lot of business to you. If I come in and teach the seminars and then we sell the papers in the back, then you're making money and I'm making money and I, they let me charge for the seminars. So I would charge $10 a person and I would have like a few hundred people show up sometimes. And then I would talk all about my blog and sell more papers and eventually they started inviting me to their like annual newspaper conferences to talk. So like all the other newspapers in the state about how to sell and we would sell like 50, 60 subscriptions in a day, which no other place could reach. So it was, it was good for them. So that's, I set up those strategic relationships. What kind of newspapers were they? Just like, you know, regular local Sunday papers. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting my mind buzzing. This is amazing. Okay, so you did that. You got your word out to the local people, which is which is awesome, which is like the best because, you know, local stores, local coupons and stuff. So what's next? What's after that? You, you did the, um, did you, so you obviously started speaking for a fee. And then mm -hmm. what, how did you take your affiliate income to the next level? Like, what was that process like? Yeah, so I had to start really thinking about strategic ways to grow my audience. Yeah. And so uh, that's when I called my local news companies and started pitching myself to them. Mm. Um, a lot of local news companies like local events. So when I was doing a seminar, I would go on to promote the seminar on the local news show. Really cool. Really cool because, I mean, it benefits the community. So interesting. So many people want to get on on TV and you know the morning show segments that they have um, everywhere locally and it's interesting because it always has to benefit the viewers always it can't just be right. about you so I love how you were able to connect the two together it was absolutely just amazing okay so <laughs> le let's let's move on and um, talk about um, how soon into your uh, entrepreneurial journey did your husband join you so he joined me about th four years in. He joined wow. me. Wow! So that's yep. very impressive. That's that's very. Yeah, and he and he quit a very well-paying job to come home and and work with me because we we started seeing work-life balance wasn't there. Mm. And what being do you mean a parent of four children and trying to work full time while Mark was working full time and never home, it just yeah. got to be a lifestyle that I wasn't interested in. So what does a balanced family look like to you? Well, right now, so we have four kids. Uh, we work Monday, Wednesday, Friday from nine to three. And then we're off Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. That's amazing. Okay, I really, really like that. Um, so you're not even working every day. Um, no. You obviously have um, a lot of tasks um, handed off to your assistants and mm -hmm. you, the other people that you're working with, right? Yeah, we have a pretty good um, balance. I have a full-time assistant. She manages my schedule, uh, helps around stuff with the office. My brother-in-law does all of my podcast editing and video editing and product production. Very impressive. So how did you get your brother-in-law into this? Like, was he already into this kind of technical editing stuff or did he just learn? No, I just learned, you know, I just taught him how to do it. I, I, I hire more for um, good work ethic than I do for skill. Very Because I feel like anybody can teach you. Exactly, ex exactly, exactly. Um, sorry, there's a bit of a delay there. Um, Lauren, very interesting. How is it working with um, family? Um, it's really good, I think. I mean, you could ask him, right? He's sitting over here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, I, I'd love for you to answer. Yeah, no, I love, I love working with family. I love, you know, we all have the same goal with the business and we all are passionate about it. And so it's really awesome to share the same passion with, with my husband and with my brother-in-law and with my assistant. Um, I think it's really cool. 
Wow. Very, that's really sweet. I, I think it says a lot about you, the way you responded to that question, because a lot of people say, oh, family, never work with family. But then, you know, you're the family too. So very sweet, very sweet. Lauren, I know we didn't talk about this, but I was wondering if you could break down your sources of income. Um, there are so many moms that are watching. They are they don't want to do affiliate income. They do the click per click ads, pay per click ads on their website. What other options are there? Well, there's ways you can do sponsored posts. I did those a lot. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I would do at at first. I did a lot of affiliate income, and now our income is m more like seventy percent product sales than affiliate income. So we have we sell digital meal plans. We sell an online budgeting and finance course called the Financial Renovation, and then we have books coming out. I have my third book coming out in two months. So um, we we do a lot more products, our own products, than you know our affiliate income at this time. Very cool, very cool, and I think that's um, a lot of. I was actually just thinking about this like yesterday. I was watching one of Brandon Burchard's videos and I'm like, this guy is really focused on his own product instead of affiliate income. And that was like really interesting to me because um, when you're starting out, it's important, of course, to make that income and reach out to affiliates and, and sell their stuff. But then at the end of the day, you really got to have your own stuff to sell. So that and thank you so much for breaking down what you sell um, because and, and, and digital products. How awesome is that? You don't have to sit there and pack your stuff and send them out, ship them out, go to the post office. It's very automated. So I love uh, thank you for sharing that. Can you um, share a little bit more details on about sponsored posts? How do you get a sponsor post? Who do you reach out to? What's the strategy there? Yeah, so for sponsored posts, I'm actually pretty strategic because if the audience, if my readers aren't going to learn anything or be enriched by this sponsored post, I won't do it. So I say no to probably 90% of the posts that, I, that I'm offered because I'm so protective over my audience. It's amazing. Like, I don't, I, they, they trust me and I'm very careful to not break their trust. And so always make sure that you can, you can, you know, do the one thing that your audience is going to love. I think that's really, really important. Oh, Lauren, can you put that back? <laughs> Cause it's a part Excuse with the me. microphone. <laughs> uh, there it goes. Oh, there you go. You lost me for a minute. So much better. Awesome. Okay. So. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing. But like, how do you, I think that's very important that you really focus on what will benefit my audience. That's really important. And that's, I mean, integrity at its, at its finest. Amazing. Um, but how do you reach out or do they reach out to you? Like how, where, how do you go about that? Yeah. So I started uh, working with a few like, um, sponsored post companies like Tap Influence is one. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked with Social Fabric. So those are the ones that I kind of, they would reach out to me when they had a client that was looking for a blog like mine and I would work through them that way. So, um, and then if I got a cold pitch from somebody, I would just pitch them back and say, I'm sorry, but this sounds great, but this is my fee. And if you don't pay it, then, you know, I have to say no to something else that's going to make me money. And so I, I had to believe in my voice that it was important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, that's amazing. It's awesome. So thank you so much for sharing those resources and they will be, uh, in the show notes. So if you, um, for, for those of you who are watching all the things that, um, Lauren uh, mentioned will be in the show notes. All right. So let's go back a little bit into balance. Oh, before I get into balance, I want to talk about your book for a little bit. So you said this is your third book. What were the other first? And can you tell us like the titles of them and what they're about and how did you write them? Were they self-published or published? So so many questions at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So the first two books were self-published. Mm -hmm. um, they're called How to Coupon Effectively was the first one. And the second one is called Insufficient Funds. Wow. And then the third one is a professionally published book by Hachette Book Group out of New York City, and that is called The Recovering Spender. 
Wow. Congratulations on your published book. That's amazing. I cannot yeah. wait when it comes out. So when you self-publish your first two books, what do you mean by self-published? Was it just an ebook or was it on Create Space on Amazon? Yeah, so I did uh, wrote it in a Google, you know, in a Word doc, mm -hmm. and then uploaded it to Create Space and sold it on Amazon. How cool! Okay, and you just did it from the get go. Yeah, that's. So I did a lot of research. I'm like, this seems like the best idea, and then I would sell a PDF version on my website too. Very cool. I really like that idea because I'm in the process of doing the whole Create Space thing, and it's kind of scaring me, but um, seems like it's pretty pretty doable. Um, thank you so yep. much for sharing that. And so how did your publisher approach you or did you have to pitch publishers? Uh, I actually pitched publishers. I had this idea for this book for about three years wow. and I uh, hired my book agent and he pitched me out and uh, Hachette is the number one book publisher in the country. And the fact that they gave me a book deal with a big advance was like huge, That's huge incredible. to me. So yeah, it's been um, a year. It's a long process writing a yeah. professionally. Book. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like so long. Lauren, congratulations. And those of you who are watching, can you please comment and congratulate Lauren? That's amazing. That's an incredible, incredible thing to have your book published. I think it's a every, every online entrepreneur's dream is to have a published book. So Lauren, congr congratulations. So what would you say like are the top maybe few things that publishers are looking for in you as the writer are they looking at your numbers are they looking at your reach like did you have to show them your previous book sales um they actually looked for they wanted to know my audience online by the time that I pitched them I already had a few national television gigs under my belt I had been on the Dr. Oz show and the Today Show and Good Morning America so those all worked really well for me very um, and cool. and the fact that I had a vision and an audience already was really was really what enticed them into publishing the book. Wow. Okay. That's amazing, Lauren. I appreciate you so, so much for sharing so openly because on the show I don't always like shoot so many questions at you, <laughs> and I really appreciate you for answering it's okay, them. I'm, it's okay. <laughs> You're, you're very honest and it's, it means a lot. So what were the struggles and challenges that you went through in your online business? Um, I think one of the biggest struggles for me is being able to shut it off. Mm. You know, my life and my business are kind of the same. So it took me moving out of into an office space to really be able to learn how to set my work hours and be mommy when I'm mommy and work and mommy when, you know, worker when I'm at the office. And it, it's always, I'm always feeling like I have two hats on, you know. Yeah. For sure. And what, what kind of, like, are there any tools or cool strategies that help you stay focused when you are in your office? Um, yeah, so one of the big things that we use is Meet Edgar. Mm -hmm. That is a scheduling tool for Facebook and Twitter. We, like, live off of that thing. <laughs> I love that tool. So for the, yeah, so for the days that we don't work, our whole social media is scheduled out for us. Wow, that's... I mean, Laura Roeder is like the first woman who ever, who introduced online marketing to me. And I, she has built, her and her husband actually, which is so amazing, built this amazing tool. And I agree, it's absolutely amazing at meetedgar.com. So are there any other like time management techniques that um, like I, some people use, like I use a timer that reminds me like if I'm doing like, hey, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Cause it's so easy <laughs> to go off track. You know, I, I just have an assistant who has a timer on her phone who now tells me, hey, you have five more minutes because I'm, I'm very, uh, like, I'm all over the place all the time. Like, I always have, like, 15 things going on. So if I can do this and build it, I feel like anybody can because I'm kind of a big mess with a lot of things. So having an assistant has saved me a lot of time this time. But not everybody can have that. So yeah. um, I really just... Using a Google Calendar is what I do. Mm, really awesome. Are there any other tools in general besides me, Edgar, that help you with your business and have everything running smoothly? Uh, yeah, we use ConvertKit for our emails. We love that. Um, we use Meet Edgar. I use a Google Calendar, and we use shared 
Google Docs for everything, I think. Like, everybody in my office, we that's how we talk to each other is through shared Google Docs. I love Google Docs. And yeah. I love ConvertKit. And I love me, Edgar. Okay, this is awesome. We're, like, on the same page. Okay, yeah. so when I was thinking about, like, the main theme of the show, like, I really was intrigued on how you used your story to not only help others and inspire others and encourage them that they also can do it, get out of debt, but how also you leverage that story and created this amazing business because, I mean, when it comes down to it, so many people are attracted to us based on our story. And so I would love if you can share, like if you saw this theme early on or was it something that involved, like evolved in your business, like that story, that story where this is where I was and here's I, where I am now. I will help you get from where you are, which is like, you know, five steps ahead of where most people are. Yeah, so my story early on, I I think a lot of people related to to it. Oh, yeah. And so very early on, I realized that I think I have something here to help other people, but also a way to give them free information for my blog, yet still earning an income for myself. And so early on, we learned that. So in the past two years, it's actually been a slow rebrand mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. a couponing, because I, I knew so much more than couponing, even though that's what I got my start mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm that I, the past two years has been a strategic, slow rebrand from IamThatLady.com to LaurenGruden.com as the personal finance expert. Very, very cool. So how do you pitch yourself to the media? Like you're, you have been on like every single major TV and newspaper outlet in the world, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> how do you do that? Because I, I feel like, I feel like you, you're not afraid of, telling people how awesome you are and I absolutely love that you're like you're your own PR personal guru like I would mm -hmm. love if you can share some tips with us yeah so with media I think you have to understand that it's not about you when it comes to media you have to understand that you need to pitch in, to each individual show like mm -hmm. you're pitching to their viewer and so when I've pitched myself to shows like Dr. Oz and Today Show and all of that, I always have to think about, like, watch the shows, know what kind of segments they do, know what you need to be pitching, what ideas they like to air, and then it makes it easier for you to, you know, elaborate on a pitch. Very um, cool. A lot of people chart, you know, get paid thousands of dollars to pitch people to PR, but it's just not worth it because I don't think they get you very much. I've gotten myself more things... I do have a publicist now, but strictly out of, uh, you know, need of scheduling my time because I get so many media inquiries every day now. Very cool. So really knowing who you're pitching to and customizing that pitch for that per particular um, media. So no, um, no mass emails, right? <laughs> no, no mass emails. That's very, no, 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 no. And make the emails, make them like, make them sexy. Put pictures in them. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I've always been told that the reason why people like to work with me is because I, I pretty much produce the shows for them. Like, this is how I see it laying out. So it's really easy for them to catch the vision behind what it's going to look like. Very beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I love that. Okay. So that, that's amazing. So, Lauren, um, do you have any advice for mom entrepreneurs who are just starting out? Oh, yes. Lots of advice. <laughs> um <laughs> So for mom entrepreneurs, I think one thing that I did really early on is I hired help. What I mean by that is I hired uh, a, a mother's helper that would just come and hang out with the kids for a couple hours a week so that I could focus on the business. And I think that that's so important. We think so much as moms, we try and do so much, right? We try and keep the house spotless and the laundry and all of that. but. Um, hiring help is not a sign of weakness it's a sign of good business so I always had a little bit of help with the kids so that I could really focus on where I was going with the business so that's one thing is I you know take away the mommy guilt you're just because you're a mom doesn't mean that you can't have a successful business I've done it exactly exactly yep. 
Very, very cool. So thank you so much, Lauren. This was amazing. I loved everything that you shared with us, jam-packed with information. I would love if you could share where can people find you and what are some cool things that you're doing right now, besides, of course, publishing a book. <laughs> right, so you can pre-order my book uh, at therecoveringspender.com. And it's a book that talks about my journey out of debt and um, how that looks like. So it's pretty much for anybody who wants to have a better financial future. Uh, and then my website is laurengroupman.com. And you can find me all over social media. I'm doing a big media tour when the book comes out in September. So you can see me on all the national news shows um, across the country. So we've got a lot going on. And, um, and if they sign up for my email list, they can see all the details of where I'll be. And I do a lot of Snapchatting behind the scenes. Yes, I loved your this morning Snapchat. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to ask you. Goodness gracious, like what is your morning routine like? I noticed that you had your two and a half mile walk or run before your children even woke up and I absolutely love doing that. I think that's the best thing that you can do for your health. Uh, but can you share a little bit more behind the scenes of what your morning um, routine looks like? Yeah, so typically I'm not a get up before the kids and run type of person, but the past couple months I've changed my, my path with that. Usually I'm a roll out of bed at the last minute, grab a cup of coffee and run to the office with messy hair type of person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the past couple months, I've been really working towards getting a morning routine. So I get up, I you know, go for a run, I take a shower, I get ready for work. And my kids have a nanny three days a week. And then um, I stay here until three. And then on my days off, we do a lot of play dates and hanging out. I love that. You have created such a beautiful balanced lifestyle Lauren and I am so thankful that you came on the show and share that with us because I am so inspired and I know that so many of our viewers are inspired as well I'm gonna let you go but I'm so thankful again and um, I will talk to you later thank you so much wasn't that incredible I'm absolutely so inspired by Lauren I, I knew she was amazing, but having her on the show just proved that she is so much more than that. Uh, she's such an incredible example of a true, true, remarkable mom entrepreneur. And this is why the show is here, is to inspire and encourage you who are starting a businesses, growing businesses. And Lauren, I mean, it took her eight years, but look of what she has created. And I just wanna encourage you that there's no such thing as get rich quick in a year um it happens but very very rarely and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication i hope that you enjoyed this show and please let me know in the comments what was your biggest takeaway and if you have any questions for lauren i'm sorry if you already did i might have missed them please put them in the comments below we'll make sure that lauren sees them and i hope you have an amazing day Again, you're watching The Mompreneur Show that features amazing stories of the most remarkable mom entrepreneurs. And I'm your host, Vicky Lashenko, and please join us live next time every single Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, right here on Facebook Live. Please sign up for our email list at mompreneurshow.com so that, you, that way you will never miss a live episode. Also, I have my five biggest mistakes mompreneurs make on mompreneurshow.com as well. It's an amazing quick read of the five biggest mistakes that I made as a mom entrepreneur that so many mom entrepreneurs make and there's some really great resources on there for you. All right, thank you again so much for watching. I'm your host, Vicky Lashenko, and I'm signing off from Greenville, South Carolina. So South Carolina, goodness gracious. It's been a week since we moved here and I still can't pronounce it right. South Carolina, I am so thankful that you're here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.